terrible here. I think it's also duplicated. Really, really sorry for uh, the delay for all of those watching and also for my opponent, obviously. Uh, but I, I hope I can get, I hope I can get going. Uh, so, um, is that what's his username? Sugar off. Usually, there's just a challenge waiting for me. <sighs> Sorry about this, really stressed. If he's listening, or somebody is listening, please ask him to to challenge me, because I don't really know what Shigeru's Shugiru, username is. Um, yeah, sorry, I cannot play other people right now. Mm. Oh, there we go. Challenging me, and uh, yeah, so sorry to my, especially my opponent, but I think we will get going now. And I'm going for e4 in the first game. Uh, hopefully. The chess playing part will be will be a lot better than uh, yeah the setup still looks terrible but I don't know what to do about it. Okay, he goes for the Sicilian. Probably gonna play the Neidorf as he's. Think played a lot, so I tried Rook G1 in the Banter Blitz earlier today. And let me just see if he he's got something in store here. He goes for E5. So what happened in the Banter Blitz earlier today was H5. Um, and then I went like h3, so let's see if he wants to go for that, but or something else. But he's burning a whole lot of time. Like, I don't think it's defensible using that much time that early in the game. Bishop g4, I don't get that at all. Can't I just go bishop b2? I guess his plan was like f3, queen b6. Then I would have to move the rook, but bishop b2, I, I develop develop a piece and I think this should be pretty good yeah if he takes, queen takes that seems entirely unpromising for him so okay he goes he goes bishop e6 so the idea is that now after g4 he goes d5 I'm not, and I'm not really sure whether the rook g1 move is actually useful for me there. So I'm just gonna go g4 now. And now g5. But it does feel as though I get I get a pretty favorable Sicilian here as well. Or Sicilian it's always gonna be, but a pretty favorable bishop b2 in either of rook g1 I think is a useful move. I don't have to spend time Protecting g5 and I got g4 in one in one go, so I think I should be considerably better here. But also knight d5 was to prevent him from going knight b6 and then knight d7, which would have been at least a sort of harmonious setup. He goes knight c5. I just guess I'm just gonna take it. Could go a4 here. Looks quite promising. Um, yeah, so many good choices here. Yeah, I want to go A4. B4, I'm going to go A5. So he simply takes. He's banking on that his um, K4 
king will be safer in the subsequent struggle here. So I could go knight of six now. Trying to exchange queens. Oh, I thought I could go bishop f6, gf6, queen f6, bishop g5, queen g6, bishop h5, trapping his queen, but he has queen e4 there. So I should stay far away from that particular line. So I just go queen a4, and if bishop d5, I think I just go ed. And I'm not worried about losing that pawn at all, since he will still have serious troubles with, um, with his development there. Um, okay, so he's preparing knight d7 now. Probably I haven't played this quite as incisively as I could have. Now I'm just going to go forward. At some point I have to play quickly anyway. And from this on we basically got a bull game on our hands. Which is going to be interesting. Yeah, let me go queen g4 after rook b2. I think g6 is pretty strong. Still here, g6 is presumably quite strong. The point is, if fg, I got queen e6 and winning the bishop on d6. And if, uh, yeah, so he probably has to go for this. But now I think he's in, he's in the world of hurt. Bishop h6, he kind of like, ooh, he had f5. I didn't, I should have taken on f7 first. This was my point to get queen e6, and I'm threatening rook g7. Um, yeah, let me just go rook a6 now. Everything's so, sort of falling apart for him. Um, yeah, rook g7. Trying to. Sort of keep it simple. Bishop g7 and then rook a7 should be curtains. Yeah, queen h6 and queen g7, that's mates. Okay, nice attacking game.